So welcome everyone. Today it's a beginner's yoga class and we're focusing on lateral stretches. So laterals don't get enough press and that's why we have a class specifically dedicated to laterals today so that we give them the attention that they need. When we talk about lateral stretches, it's things like your side angle pose, when you talk about reverse warrior or peaceful warrior, a triangle pose. Um, it's, it's poses where one side of the body turns to stretch and the other one turns to naturally compress. As a general instruction, you want to think of the side that's compressing um, as a side that's active and actually quite long so that you don't abandon and collapse on the side that's compressing. My teacher, Jared McCann, he always tends to say, lengthen the side that's compressed and squeeze the sides that are actually stretching. So if we're doing a side angle uh, on the left side, he will say, lengthen the left side, even though it's the side that's short. It's just for you to visualize that you still need that length. So that's one main thing. And the other main thing to have in mind before we start is this internal rotation of the shoulder. So when you have your arms down, internally rotating the shoulders means that the arms turn in, so palms in, palms back. So this is internal rotation of the shoulder. And then external rotation of the shoulder is the opposite. So turning the arm out. And you can notice what's happening with the shoulder. So internally rotating the shoulder feels like the shoulder is coming towards the chest and externally rotating it feels like the shoulder is moving away. Now what's tricky is that when the arms are up, it's still the same action. So internal rotation when your arm is down feels like external rotation when the arm is up, but it's still internal rotation. So the armpit is going out when the shoulder is an internal rotating, and this is actually also internal rotation of the arm, even though it feels like it's externally rotating. And then external rotation of the shoulder brings the palm in and back. And this is also external rotation of the arm, even though it feels like the arm is coming in. So this is very important because with all of the lateral stretches with the arm overhead, just like with all of the arm overhead poses, like, uh, upward salute when you do your sun salutation or when you're doing down dog that your arms are extended you do want this external rotation of the shoulder so the armpit is turning in towards the face and reaching away through the hands so these are points that i'll be repeating today lengthening the side body both sides even though we're focusing on one with the lateral stretches when we're lengthening and the one arm is down then the shoulder blade of the arm that's down is all this um, um, pulling down and then the shoulder blade of the other arm is extending up and you can relax the head always or you can make sure that your back of the leg back of the neck is long okay so we can start i'll be repeating this bit so if you didn't take notes that's fine you want to sit in front of your sits bones and then feel like you're grounding down through the sits bones and reaching up to the shoulder blades so that you find a long lower back. From there, pull the shoulders back and then pull the shoulder blades down to open up the chest. But keep that long lower back. Relax your face, relax your jaw. And we'll start with some Kapalabhati breathing, skull shining breath. The skull shining breath, Kapalabhati, victorious breath, sorry, wrong. <laughs> Skull shining breath is um, short, sharp, quick exhale breaths. You can think of it like blowing a candle. So you forcefully exhale air out and the inhale ha happens on its own accord. You don't think about inhaling, it just happens on its own. So you can try it through the mouth for the first round and we'll do a second round through the nose, which has the same um, principles. So sitting up tall, pull your shoulders back, reach the back of the skull up. Inhale into your belly and exhale. Inhale half a breath into the belly and then begin blowing out through the mouth. 
short, sharp, quick, exhale, breath. Focus on the belly pumping. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your shoulder blades down. Keep going for 30. Twenty. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Exhale out. Hold your out. And then inhale. Inhale to the top. Hold the breath at the top. Bring your chin down. Make sure your eyebrows are relaxed, your face is relaxed. Just hold your breath for 10 seconds. Focus on the feeling of expansion. And then pick up your chin, exhale through the nose. Inhale into the belly. Exhale through the nose, complete exhale. Second round through the mouth or through the nose. Inhale into the belly and begin. Short, sharp, quick, exhale, rest. Chest is proud, belly is pumping. Keep your shoulders back, your shoulder blades down, keep your face relaxed, focus on the fire at the belly. Thirty. 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, exhale out. Let all the breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to natural breathing. And bring your hands to your floating ribs, the lower ribs. Notice how with every inhale, the ribs are flaring out and how they come back in with every exhale. Hold the integrity of your seat, sit up tall, inhale into the belly, And exhale, bring the rib cage back in. So if you remember the band actions, start activating your bandas. So as you inhale, try to hold the lower belly in and lift up, keep your rib cage in, lift it up. And as you exhale, keep sitting up tall. Feel the natural lift of the pelvic floor, the engagement there, the rib cage pulling in and lifting up. Inhale with the rib cage closed, just lifting up through the back bottom ribs. Exhale, keep sitting up tall, relax your face, relax your jaw. Release your arms and try to hold the engagements. Inhale deeply, pulling the lower belly in and up, keeping the rib cage in, lifting it up. And exhale, keep the integrity of your body, your chest proud. Relax your face. Inhale deeply, lifting through the pelvic floor, pulling the lower belly in and up, picking up the back bottom ribs. Exhale, stay tall, lifting up through the pelvic floor, sucking lower belly in and up, rib cage in and up. Release your arms by the sides. Inhale your arms up, keep the lower belly sucked in, rib cage in and up. And exhale, arms by your sides. Keep lifting up. Good, inhale, arms up, keep the lower belly sucked in, the rib cage up. And exhale, bring your right hand down to the ground, to your right, lateral stretch. So we'll stay here for a few breaths to reaffirm the principles. So find your right shoulder and pull it back, find your right shoulder blade and pluck it down. At the same time, think of lengthening the right side so that the short side is not big collapse, is not compressing too much. 
Then your left side wants to really find length. Round down through both six bones. Bring your fingers together and find this external rotation of the shoulder by bringing the armpit in and turning the palm towards the head and towards the back. Relax your head, keep your right shoulder back and the right shoulder blade down. And inhale, really extend through the left side, reaching away through the fingertips. Keep your left sits bone down, exhale, reach away through the fingertips. Two more breaths here. Inhale into the whole left side, the left, the ribs, the left intercostal muscles, the left chest, the left armpit. And exhale, reach away through the fingertips. Keep that external rotation of the shoulder, of the arm. Inhale deeply from the sits bone all the way up to the fingertips. Arm is straight, one straight long line. And exhale, reach further away through the fingernails even. Keep everything as is. And inhale, bring your left arm to the left. Pull the left hand away and keep your right shoulder back, shoulder blade down. Now find your left trap muscle, this guy here. Pull it down the back. Relax your head. Inhale, reach away through the fingers. And exhale, keep reaching away. Relax one more layer of the left neck. Keep finding length through the sides of the body. Inhale deep into the left neck. And exhale, reach away. Good job. Inhale, bring your right hands to the head and pick the head up. And exhale, sit up to. Good job. Other side. Inhale, both arms up first. Keep the rib cage in and pick up the back bottom ribs. Exhale, bring the left hand down, reach our way through the right arm. Pull the left shoulder back, pluck the left shoulder blade down, relax the head. Remember, the left side is not compressing, it's still long, but the right side, of course, is much longer. Ground down through the sit bones and reach our way through the right arm. Keep the arms straight, relax the head, elevate the right shoulder, and externally, Rotate it, turning the armpit towards your face, turning your palm towards the ground and towards the back. With this rotation, inhale, reach away through the fingertips. Feel the whole side stretching. And exhale, relax the head. Reach and inhale deeply. And exhale, reach further away. Good job. One more deep inhale here. Find length through the intercostal muscles, through every rib cage, through the armpit, the elbow, and exhale, reach further away through the fingertips. Stay as you are, just bring the right arm to the right, reaching away through the fingertips. Relax the head. Pull the shoulders back, pluck the shoulder blades down, pluck the right shoulder, the right trap muscle down the back. Relax the head. Inhale and reach away to a straight right arm. And exhale, reach away through the fingertips as you relax one more layer of the neck. Take a deep breath here to the right trap, the right neck, the right side of the face. And exhale, reach away through the fingertips to relax the head. Breathing. Inhale, slowly bring the left hand to the head and pick it up. And exhale, stay here. Good job. We're coming for our sun salutations. Come to all fours first. Do any movement you might need to do before starting the practice. And then find your first downward facing dog. Remember that external rotation of the shoulders, widening the shoulder blades. Push into the hands and reach back through the heels. From here, look forward and walk to the front of the mat. Allow your body to just relax down for a second. Press down into the feet. Reach the weight forward so that the front of the legs contract to keep you from falling. Feel the back of the legs stretching. Pull the lower belly in, bend the knees, and inhale, come up. 
bit. Let's start with an OM, bring your hands to the center of the chest. We'll make it a female expansive OM, so it will be a three letter OM, sounding like AUM. Think of A starting at your pelvic floor, U going further up, M, M being at the head, crown, and beyond. Just one time. If you miss it, you miss it. So go for it. Press the feet down, reach out through the back of the scalp. Inhale, get ready for AUM. Uh, Chanting peace. Bring your arms by your sides. Today we're doing L series, a simpler sound salutation, and then we're focusing on the laterals. So pressing the feet down, feet hip distance apart or big toes together, whatever works for you. Reach up through the chest, reach back to the shoulders. Inhale and bring your arms up, reach up, gaze up. And then exhale, interlace the arms behind the back as you fold forward, bend the knees if needed. Inhale, take your hands to the ground and the right foot back, right knee down, open the chest. And exhale, come back forward, foot down, interlace hands behind the back and fold. Press the feet down and inhale, rise up, pressing down into the feet, bending the knees if needed and then extending all the way up. And exhale, arms by your sides, left side. Inhale, open up the chest, pick up the chin, reach out through straight arms. And exhale, fold forward, interlace the arms behind the back. Inhale, bring your hands down, the left foot back, the left knee down, open the chest. And exhale, come forward again, press the feet down, interlace the hands behind the back. Press feet down, inhale and rise up. Reach up, open up the chest, and exhale, arms down. One more time on each side. Inhale, you can add a back bend, pushing the pelvis forward, the chest up, the chin back, and exhale, fold forward, interlace the hands. If you want to add, straighten the legs and bring the weight forward, the hands forward. Inhale, bring the hands down, the right knee down, maybe even bring the arms up this time. And exhale, bring the hands forward and come to the front. Interlace the hands behind the back, fold. Press it down and inhale, rise up. Reach up and back bend. And exhale, arms by your sides. Last time. Inhale, back bend, pick up the chest, the chin. And exhale, fold. Keep the pelvis over the feet. Interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, the left foot back, hands down, knee down, push the hips up, bring the arms up if you want. And exhale, come to the front, press down into the feet, fold forward. Inhale and rise up, chest up. And then exhale, bring your right foot back, we'll go straight into it. So we're going first for Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Um, the Ashtanga variation, so one style of yoga, asks for there to be three feet between your feet. That's your own feet. So in between the arch of the foot, if you make a note where it is and you step one, step two, step three, then look at that gap, look at that uh, tip of the big toe and place the edge of your foot there and that's your three feet. So pressing down into the outer feet, suck the lower belly in and pick it up, pick the chest up. Inhale the arms to a T, reach away, and exhale. You will turn the right foot out, turn the right heel in. Ideally, there's this heel to be to arch of the foot. If you feel that it's too much for your hips, because you actually need to stay straight, it's a lateral stretch, it's not a twist. Then you can turn the foot slightly in so that the hips don't have to be that open. Because what happened here is that the right hip opened.
and drag the right heel open to the side. So then by turning the left foot in slightly, then the right hip is not that open. So that's your variation. Otherwise, keep your left foot with the second toe facing forward, your right to, uh, foot with the second toe facing at a right angle to the left foot. Press down into the feet so strongly that, that you feel your glutes activating and your pelvic floor lifting up. Arms are at the sides and you're gazing where you're going. So press down into the feet and come to the right side. You can bring your hand to your shin and open up the left chest and reach away. If you are quite open with the hips, then you can come a bit lower, pressing down into the feet and reaching up to the chest. So you can grab the ankle or even go for the big toe. Remember to keep pressing the feet down and keep the legs straight. Remember what we're saying about the right side lengthening even though it's not the side that's stretching. And then press the left outer foot down to feel a length through the left side of the body. You can relax the head for today's purposes. Reach out way through the arms and pull the shoulder blades down. Inhale here. And exhale, press the feet down, straighten the legs. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, press down to the feet, pull the belly in and come up. And then turn the feet parallel. Turn your left foot out, keeping that distance of three feet, three of your own feet in between your feet. Press down into the feet again, activate your legs. If you're um, quite flexible with your joints, then be careful not to hyperextend. So it's easy for me to send my knee back, but then this is not the best for my knee joint. Same with the left leg, of course. I don't want to pull the, push the knee back. If you don't have these issues, then it's much better. Don't, not being flexible in this case is a big advantage. So pressing down into the feet, keep your legs straight. Pull the lower belly in and up. Feel the lift from the pelvic floor. Keep the ribcage in and lifting up. Open up the arms, gaze towards where you're going. Then reach forward and exhale. Keep pressing down to keep your hips open. Remember, if it's too much, you can turn the back toes in. Reach away through the arms and choose where to go, how deep you want to go. But remember, you want the legs to stay as they are and you want to open up the chest. So if going lower means that you will turn down and turn it into this variation that's in between a twist and um, well, a compromised Trikonasana, then maybe come a bit further up so that you can reach up, opening up the chest for three breaths. Keep pressing the feet down, find a long left body and feel the stretch of the right body for two. Keep your head relaxed. Reach away through the arms, reach back through the shoulder blades, suck the lower belly in and forward, lengthen your lower back, full one. Press the feet down and inhale, come up. Bring the feet back to parallel. Next variation is our um, side angle pose. Side angle, you want to open up the legs a bit further apart. So from Trikonasana, you want to add two more feet. One, two, and then where your, the tip of the toe is, is where the edge of the foot is going to be. So this is quite wide. Five feet apart is wide. So if it's too much for you, you can start with a closer distance and work towards it so that every class you open up a bit more. Unless you're really on your edge, then stay with your edge, breathe, and one day you'll be able to open up more. Now you want to again inhale and open up. So you're opening up the foot out and making sure that the heel is at the same line as the arch of the foot. Press down into the feet, reach the arms out, pull the shoulders back, pull the shoulder blades down. And then from here, bend the front knee. So this is warrior two position. So starting from here. So if you have five feet apart uh, between your feet, so your feet are five feet apart, then you can bend the front knee and make sure that the knee, and, and that way your knee will be over your heel because you have a big distance. If you are a bit closer, 
then it won't be an arrival and move. But keep your knee over the heel. So with time again, you want to have knee over heel, pressing down into the outer feet. You can lift up through the lower belly and open up the chest. Border two position. Stay here for three. Keep pressing the feet down for two. And one, and then bring your right elbow to your right knee. Press the left outer foot down and reach up way through the left arm. Plug the right shoulder blade down and three, four, five. Keep pressing the feet down until the glutes activating. Four, four. Suck your lower belly in, lift it up, the rib kick in, lift it up. Find space in the right body. Four, three. You can relax the head again today. Reach our way through the left fingertips and feel a long left body for two. And remember that external rotation. So you want the palm to face down and to the back and then reach away through the fingertips. Four, one, let's take a deep breath here. Inhale from the left heel all the way up to the fingertips. And exhale, press down to the feel, feet. Feel the activation of your deep core. Press down to the feet, inhale, come up, keeping that activation that will keep you safe. And we'll reverse the warrior. So we'll bring the left hand to our hip or further down or further down to the shin. And we'll bring the right arm overhead. So you want to keep the right knee over the heel as much as possible. If it's further back or slightly forward, it's fine. Just don't, make, just don't turn it in or out. So don't rotate the knee in or out because then it's a lot of pressure on the knee. It's not meant to do that. Your knee is a hinge joint, so it should only be opening forward and back. Press down into the feet, reach out way through the arm. Four, five. Pull the left shoulder blade down the back, reach out way through the right fingertips. Four, four. Keep the lower belly in and up, ribs in and up, open up the chest. Four, three. If it's too much, remember you can come a bit higher up. Four, two. Inhale deeply, keep the external rotation of the arm. The arm is straight. Go on, press into the feet. Inhale, come up, turn the foot in. Let's go to the other way. Warrior two. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Four, three breaths. Just finding our base because the base will not change. The base will stay in warrior two throughout. Four, two. Keep pressing feet down, activate the glutes. Lift up through the lower belly, the back floating ribs peak up. Exhale and bring the left elbow on top of the knee and the right arm overhead. External rotation. Plug the left shoulder blade down and reach out way through the fingertips of the right hand. Inhale deeply from the right heel all the way to the fingertips. Exhale, relax the head, relax the shoulder blade, the left shoulder blade down. The right shoulder blade is reaching up. Four or five. Four, four. Remember, if it's too much, you can have a shorter stance. Four, three. Keep pressing down into the other foot and reach away through the hand. Four, two. Okay, so variation, just so that you know. If you were to do a, another class and they told you to have your hand on the ground, nothing would change. You would just bring your hand to the ground. It might be on the outside or on the inside. Of course, you can also use blocks so that you're a bit higher. But this variation that we're doing is perfectly fine. And remember, closing the distance makes it a bit easier. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, reverse the warrior. Keep your left knee over the heel. Again, five feet apart might be too much, but that's what you're working towards. Four, five. Press the outer feet down. Make sure your legs are straight, not bending in any wrong. So the back leg is straight, not bending in a wrong way. Four, four. Keep your left arm reaching away and find that external rotation. Four, three. Keep your knee over the heel. Pull the belly, pick up the ribs, relax the head. Four, two. Keep your chest proud. Pull the right shoulder blade down, reach away through the fingertips. Four, one. Pull the belly in and inhale, come up. Good job. Exhale, come back to center. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, pick up the chest. And exhale, fold forward. Hands may come to the ground. 
or you can keep your hands on your hip, hips. Inhale, really reach away through the chest and exhale, fold over the legs. Press down into the knee, outer feet, reach up through the pubic bone. Inhale, reach the lower belly, lean in towards the ground. Exhale, pick up the back bottom, reach, reach them towards the ground. Use your hands, hands at the same line as the feet is possible to pull your body into the center of the legs. Inhale deeply, keep your legs active, and exhale, pull yourself towards that center. Pull the belly in, inhale, come halfway up, and exhale, bring your hands forward, bring your heels in and knee, press down into the feet, and come up with the strength of your legs. Bring your legs together, turn around to the front, or any way that works for you. We're going to do the Bikram half moons. So open up the feet, keep distance apart. Press down into the feet, pick up your chest. Inhale your arms up. Interlace your fingers. Reach up, but keep your head relaxed. And then exhale, tilt to the right side. Send your six bones down, suck your lower belly in, and reach up through the rib cage for five. Remember, you want a long right side and then an even longer left side for four. So ground yourself down through the feet, through the six bones, and reach out way through the fingers. Four, two. You can squeeze elbows together, squeeze wrists together, and really reach away through the hands. Four, one. Pull the belly in, and inhale, come back to center. Keep that length as you reach up, and exhale to the other side. Keep the lower belly in, the chest proud, relax a bit the neck. And then reach away through the fingertips. Four, five. Send six bones down, ground heels down, four, four. Keep your chest open, squeeze elbows together, squeeze wrists together, four, three. Long sides of the body, and then use your left hand to pull yourself to the right, to the left, four, two. Keep your belly strong, you're breathing. And one, inhale, come up with that same length, gaze up, and then exhale, just the hands go back, back bend, four, five. So in the back bend, again, press the feet down, send your pelvis forward, suck the lower belly in and up, and pick yourself up, four, four. Focus on the upper back bending, so squeeze the wrists together, reach away through the fingers, and reach back, four, three. Keep your belly in, back bend a bit more, four, two. And one, inhale, come back to center, and exhale, release your arms. Good job. Open up your feet. And mat width apart, and exhale, squat down. If you need to pick up your heels, you want to come all the way down and get ready for your arm balance. So press your hands down, gaze forward, push in through the knees and round the back. We want to round the back to really work with the front of the body, to so extend the back of the body. Pull the belly in, and inhale, bring all the weight forward, Maybe hold a bit more, keep the elbows in a 90 degree angle, and exhale, shift your weight forward. Maybe you lift one foot up, maybe both, four, five. Four, keep rounding your back. If you're trying to find the balance, keep trying if you fall. Four, three, keep rounding the back, strong belly. Four, two. And one very slowly come down with control and bring your feet together. Paragonasana. Pick up your chest and breathe. Over five. You know, think of grounding down to the six bones, but keep your chest proud. Four, four. Keep an internal rotation of the arms and then pull the shoulders back. Four, three. Reach up through the back of the skull. Reach up through the sides of the body, four, two. And one. Use your hands to open up the legs. Your knee, your legs want to be at 100 degrees. So we'll think of a right angle, just slightly more open. Not a lot more open. Now from here, we will work again with our lateral stretch. We have different options and we'll do 
many of them. <laughs> so bring your left hand to the center and bring your left elbow down. Pick up your chest and from there, bring the right arm overhead. Turn your palm down and towards the back and reach away, four or five. Keep your legs active, so flex the feet and feel that the quads, the top of the legs are working, four, four. Tuck the lower belly in and peek up through the chest, four, three. Pull the shoulder, the left shoulder back and down, the right shoulder back and up, four, two. And find that external rotation of the arm, don't forget that. Palm down, up, back, and reaching away, four, one. Pull the belly in and come up. Good. So maybe you like that. Maybe you want to go deeper. If you want to go deeper, you can bring your hand under your right leg. Thigh is the easier, deeper. Shin is the harder, deeper variation. So maybe let's go for thigh today. Pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back. And then you want to actually bring your shoulder down. But again, don't compress, don't come close to your pelvis, reach out way. So find a long left side of the body, ground down through the hips, keep your legs active, thighs working. Inhale the right arm overhead and exhale. Same rotation, palm down and palm back. If you want to grab the foot, make sure that you're not collapsing. So pull your chest forward and open up through the chest for five. Pull the shoulders back and the left shoulder blade down, the right shoulder blade up, four, four. Keep your feet flexed and keep reaching away through a straight right arm, four, three. Keep your chest open, relax the face, four, two. And one, keep the lower belly in as you can. Other side. Remember you can repeat with the right hand uh, on the ground, or you can go under the leg. So you choose your variation. Pull the belly in, inhale, left arm overhead, and exhale, thigh shoulder right down, reach away through the left hand, four or five. If you went for a deeper variation already, then maybe you grab the foot, but make sure you stay open, four or four. Pull the right shoulder blade down, reach away through the left, arm and find that external rotation, fingers together, four, three. Keep your legs active, flex the feet, use the thighs, four, two. And one, pull the belly in and slowly come up. Bring your knees in and come to child's pose. Use this child's pose as an opportunity to ground down, but don't let go of your bandas. Keep lifting up through the pelvic floor, keep the lower belly clean and reaching forward. So as you inhale, you should not feel that you're pushing onto the side with the belly. Your whole body is inhaling with all the engagements happening. So your lower belly is sucking, it's not pushing down. And then as you exhale, maybe reach further away through the hands, reach further back through the six bones, widen the shoulders. Inhale, reach long. And exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale. And exhale through the mouth. Use your hands to pull yourself forward to a force, tabletop position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Open up the chest in a cow position and then press the hands down and round the back. Articulate it starting from the pelvis, inhale, pelvis, arches, lower back, middle back, upper back, and then chin comes up. And then exhale, round through the lower back, middle back, upper back, and head comes down. One more time, inhale, tilting the pelvis, anterior, anterior pelvic tips. And then the whole body follows in a wave. Head comes up last. And then exhale, tilt your pelvis down. Posterior pelvic tilt, the rest of the body follows. Chin last, comes in. Inhale, come back to neutral. 
thinking of sending the hips back and reaching the shoulders forward. Inhale the right arm to the side, lateral stretch again. And then exhale, twist, bring your right hand under the shoulder. Pull the left shoulder back down the back and inhale deeply. Exhale, make sure that your hips are over your knees, relax the muscles of your face. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Pull the belly in, inhale, come back to center, then open up to the side. Pull the shoulder blades down, reach away, and exhale, bring your hand down. Inhale, the left arm open, keep your, your hips over the knees. Push the right shoulder forward, the left shoulder back, and exhale, thread the needle. Go under your armpit. You can bring the shoulder all the way to the ground or it can hover depending on where you are today. Pull your shoulder blades down the back, keep your hips over the knees. Don't allow the hips to move to the right or any other way. Hips over the knees, square hips, inhale here. And exhale, pull the shoulder blades down, proud chest, keeping the lower belly sacked in the ribcage, reaching towards the chest. Inhale. And exhale. Good job. Press the right hand down, press the knees down, inhale, come up. All the way up with the arm. Open the chest and exhale, hands down. Good job. Come to lie down on your back. We will repeat the um, shoulder stand variations that we were doing last time. So remember the options. You can just find a wall and lie sideways against the wall and then turn to have your legs up the wall. Also, if you have a blanket, you can fold it. If you have a bolster or a pillow, you can place it under your hips so that you find some elevation that you make it into a, a comfortable, passive legs up the wall pose. If you want to go for a shoulder stand, then on your mat, you can start with legs above the pelvis and maybe you feel that this is where you need to be today and you breathe. Feet flexed, hips pressing down, chest is open. If you want to bring the legs up to support your back with your hands, then you can first go back and then walk up your back, so towards your shoulders with your hands, walk your shoulders in and then bring the legs up. It's easier to bend knees, maybe with the hard way. So you can bring one knee in, the other knee in, and then straighten up, keeping your hands towards the upper back rather than the lumbar. Reach up through the legs, keep your legs active. Four, five. Four. Three. Lengthen your breath, four, two. Keep pressing down into the shoulder blades. And you're pressing down into the shoulder blades to relax the neck. You don't want the neck to be on the ground. Press shoulder blades down and press slightly press the back of the head down, mostly shoulder blades. To come down, you can counter the weight by taking your feet slightly overhead and then you take the hips back using that counterweight so you control the movement. Lie down. If your legs are up against the wall, you can stay there. If you were doing your variation on the mat, we're going for um, fish pose. So you will bring your feet in to lift the hips up. You will interlace the thumbs, so hook the thumbs together and, and pull your elbows and shoulders close one to the other. Then bring your hips down to sit on top of the hands and release your thumbs. So your palms are now pressing down flat on the ground. From there, you will extend your legs, point the feet, press down into the heels, press down into the palms, press down into the shoulders, sorry, the elbows again. Press down into the heels, hands and elbows, and leave the shoulders up. So you're pressing down actively. Then you're finding a back bend by picking up the chest, the chin. You're pulling the shoulder blades together, pulling the shoulder blades towards the sacrum, and then relaxing the head. You can stay with the head hanging, or you can place it on the ground. Option to do three lion's breaths here. So inhale, pick up 
the chest and exhale, stick your tongue out, make a hissing sound. Two more, relax your face, keep your legs active, inhale. And exhale through the mouth, tongue out. Last one. Good. One more breath, just a normal breath in fish pose. And then press your hands down, your elbows down to pick up the head and unroll back. Good. Bring your legs in, hug your knees. Option to go to legs up the wall. Option to work with your headstand. If you were here two weeks ago, we worked with headstand. So we'll repeat the variations. So from hugging your knees, you can rock back and forth until you come to see it, and then turn around. Bring your elbows under the shoulders and interlace your fingers. So hugging your shoulder, your um, biceps is a way to remind you to keep the elbows in. But when you let go of the biceps, don't open up the elbows because then why would you do it? So keep your elbows under the shoulders. Interlace the hands, you can bring your pinky finger in if you're afraid that you're going to crush it. So finger in, Pinky finger can come in, and then you press the wrist down and you keep the elbows pressing down. Already, if you pull the elbows in, you'll feel the chest activated. So you can press wrist down and pull the elbows in to activate the chest. And then from here, bring the head down. Option to stay here, this is already new to some people. So if you've never done this before, we. If you feel comfortable with your head on the ground, which is already a new perspective. Then you can tuck the toes under and straighten the legs. You can stay here again. Keep pressing the wrist down, pull the elbows in. If you want to go further, walk the feet in. Keep pressing the crown of the head down, the elbows down. And again, you can stay or you can bring one knee in, take it down, put the foot down, bring the other knee in, take the foot down. And eventually bring both knees in without kicking. So press down to the head, press down to the elbows, pull in with the elbows near your chest. So when you've had enough, you can come down, take a breath, and if you want to try it again, remember you have very, very, very many variations. You can stay, or you can lift all the way up. You can do it against the wall so that you know that you're not going to fall back. Keep pressing the head down, keep pressing the elbows down, pulling them in and keep the legs reaching up. Four, three breaths. Make them long. Four, two. And of course, feel free to stay there longer. When lowering, remember to find that counterweight. So reaching the hips away from the feet so that you bring the feet down with control. You can always bend the knees and bring them to the chest because legs straight means that you have more weight to work with. By bending the knees, keeping them closer to your center of gravity will make this easier. Just by the variation of child's pose and here. Okay, we'll wind it down. So from here, we can do one last lateral stretch, reaching the arms forward, and then walking the hands to the right, placing the left hand on top of the right, and breathing. If you want more, hands further to the right, and left hand on top. But keep the hips over the feet, so hips on the heels. You're actually sitting down. Breathe into the whole inside and breathe out. If you're still with your legs up the wall, then it's fine. You can stay there. It's very, very therapeutic. If you want to come down, you can come to this variation of child's pose. Inhale deeply into the whole left side, reaching away through the left fingertips, keeping your right side long also. And exhale through the mouth, ground down, release. Think of moving the fingers away and then forward and go to the other side. 
you can start with a more conservative lateral stretch and if you feel comfortable, go further away. Remember to keep your hips square, so hips on top of the heels, lengthen through both sides, keep reaching back to the right sits bone, away to the right fingertips. Relax your face and go to the forward side. And Inhale. And exhale through the mouth. Again, think of length first, move away, and then move forward. Bring your hands down to uh, lift yourself up and come to lie on your back. Up your knees. Pull your knees in, reach our way through the six bones, open up the chest. Then exhale, bring your forehead to your knees. Inhale here. And exhale, bring your heels closer to your hips and your hips away from you. Inhale into your lower back, lengthen your lower back. And exhale, reach your lower back down to the ground. Reach your forehead to your knees, pull your shoulder blades down. It's lie back, Shavasana. You can lengthen your legs and have the feet splaying out. Or you can bend the knees and bring your knees together with your feet shoulder width apart to lengthen the lower back. Whatever feels better. You could rather lie on your side or lie face down. Be my guest. You want to be comfortable. Pull the shoulders down the back and slightly tap the tailbone under so that your neck is long, your lower back is long. You can slightly tuck your cheek in and then inhale from your toes all the way up to the crown of the head. And exhale through the mouth, let it go. Good job today. Enjoy stillness and allow your body to benefit from the practice by giving it this gift of full relaxation. Relax your eyebrows, relax your inner ears, relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows, relax your hands, your fingertips, relax, relax your chest, relax your abdomen, relax your lower belly, relax. Relax your shoulder blades, allow gravity to pull them down. Relax your lower back. Relax your pelvic floor, allow the layers of muscle at the pelvis to release. Let go. Relax your thighs, your hamstrings. Relax your knee and your, your knees and your legs below the knees. Relax your feet, your toes, your toe tips. Relax.
perhaps, perhaps we should love ourselves so fiercely that when others see us, they know exactly how it should be done. Gently, gently bring your awareness back to your body and back to the long sides of your body. Inhale deeply. In a seated position that's comfortable for you. Pick up your chest and relax. Feel grounded, feel calm, feel clear. You're right where you should be in life and you're who you should be to make the most of what is. Inhale deeply from your root all the way up to the crown of the head. Open your mouth and exhale out, let go. Inhale your hands to your heart. Thank you for your beautiful practice. Thank you for taking care of your health and thank you for being kind. Light in me honors and celebrates the light, the kindness, the wisdom in you. Namaste. Amazing job. Amazing job. Any questions, suggestions, and comments are always welcome. Hope you learned something about laterally stretching. Stay long, stay strong, stay healthy. Thank <laughs> you.